Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Bytes with Keshav. Today we will discuss about some static code analysis tools which we can use to improve our code quality. I will brief you about three tools SonarCube, PMD, and ChickStyle. So let's get started with SonarCube. I've installed it as part of plugins page. So let's see that. As we can see, SonarCube is installed and enabled. Then I created a sample file called student. I added some private variables, but no usages of those variables, no assignments, nothing. Then I declared a public function get student, and then it is accepting a, a parameter called roll number, and then I'm trying to reassign that parameter function parameter which ideally should not happen. Let's see what SonarCube has to say for all these observations. As we can see for this boilerplate code, so SonarCube has six observations. We have unused variables. We are trying to reassign a variable, which is a function parameter. So now uh, imagine the scenario where the code complexity and business logic ones will be added. So then uh, SonarCube uh, might have so many suggestions for as part of code optimization, right? So next uh, we can, we have PMD. So we can use third party plugin also for that, this tool uh, PMD. And now, but if we wanted like uh, the build should, if there are certain PMD violations and in that case build should not succeed. So in uh, that case, I have added it in that as part of build tag under form file. So let's see in this. As we can see under build, we have plugins. Under that, I have defined this PMD plugin and then here one thing to notice that we can add our own custom rule sets also. Say that we I don't want that complete list of rule sets to be valued like to, to scan this code. So I can add my own custom file, XML file that contain the rule sets based upon which code should be scanned. So I can add it like based like this. This piece of code configuration, I need to add it over here. Path of that XML file containing rule sets. Normally it has to be, uh, should be under that resources folder. I don't have that file for now. I want, let us say, I want that the complete, uh, complete code should be evaluated based upon all the rule sets. So let's see what PMD has to say for now, this uh, code. Now I can use that uh, MVN clean package command like this, along with PMD colon check to see the PMD violations. For this basic code, PMD has found four violations. So over here, I would like to iterate that uh, as all of these, they are static code analysis tools. So certain uh, violations or observations might uh, seems like similar or same. So uh, yes, so in that case, we can choose whether to uh, use a combination of uh, stat various static analysis tools or what which one to prefer like that. Same, unused private field variables, all those. Same, uh, similar we have here also, right? Now, as this called, this made as build as failure, as we have four violations. Now, idle scenario should be like, we have to rectify all these violations. But there might be a scenario where at the moment, a solution is not feasible. A change is not, can't happen. So we may need to suppress that warning. We can do that, suppress that warning, PMD warning, maybe at a function level, at this line level, or at a class level. So for demonstration, I will do it for, at a, let's say for us at a class level, using this annotation, and then PMD. Now, when again I will try to run this command,
we got a build success okay now the question would be like where where, where went that uh, that uh, violations they are the, here only but using that suppress they got suppressed and now they will be termed as like this but it will not hinder the build process now they are here only right okay the last one uh, that we can discuss is about check style so i added it like as part of plugins check style we have it like this as we can see it is enabled installed and enabled right now if you want to have brief about this check style it's basically we can have it over here right and now now this can also accept check style uh, configuration file if you wanted to uh, scan the code based upon custom configuration file or else we have uh, as of now two options like google check style we have sun check style we can use either of them so now if i have installed it so let's see if uh, now from this particular so uh, link i can use I can go for this Google check style, right? I can use it or I can download the raw file. Okay, I have it. Now, as part of this, Here. by default although the, this will be coming and somehow uh, if, so there will be no need to uh, explicitly again uh, import that google checks because it uh, as a part of bundle also it is uh, coming right but same way if we want to have it some kind of custom file we can add it like paste this right now if i want to evaluate this simple piece of code using check style and that to google so there is it is coming over here Google checks and let's scan this project. Now it has, as it is uh, now more uh, towards that formatting part and code styling. So now it has observations like we have Java doc is missing. We have a public method, Java doc is missing for the same. Right. So we have class def. So the, over here, class def is there. This is class definition we have. And then let us say now I formatted this code, right? So it, it has become now like this missing a Java doc. So it has already set for now it should be now again, if I try to do this check project, now that warning got uh, gone as we have more uh, formatted the code. Now it has all to say about that. These we should have a, a Java doc for this class at this class and then for this public method. Right. So let us say if I have it something like this. This class will pass student data. This method will fetch student data. Okay. Now, we have another set of uh, formatting violations we have. Okay. Now, it also has to be defined parameter student roll number for which details to be fetched now 
now it has to say that this first statement of every uh, any java doc should end with the dot sign let's add it like this now it say it has no problem with this code this as this google check style it is all more ma majorly about that formatting part and code styling so this way it, it said that it has uh, no uh, further violation for this code so now uh, as we saw that we have three tools uh, though we have so many we have can have so many but uh, i have been using these three tools so yeah so it's a trade off between which one we can uh, use and whether it's a single or a combination as depends upon uh, the requirement and the yeah feasibility so that was all about from this uh, video from my side and if you like the video you can like it and do subscribe if you are new to the channel for the more content for tech later yeah thank you so much for watching this video